Hello everyone Hello. and welcome to another episode dito sa ating YouTube channel. Noel's Arky. Yes. Okay. And thank you sa mga subscribers natin. We've already hit 30,000 plus subscribers. Yes. Yan. So salamat sa inyong support. At, at pasensya. <laughs> pasensya. <laughs> oh, uh, ano pag usapan natin today? So, uh, we will all... We, <laughs> ulit. <laughs> so for today, uh, we will uh, discuss... Another term na mm. madalas ba? makita ngayon din sa mga social kasi media pag, at saka sa mga, sa mga terms, news. Ha? Oo, kasi mm-hmm. uh, syempre mga ano to eh, mga financial terms na hindi madalas uh, masabi kaya hindi lahat ay naiintindihan. No? Mm-hmm. And for today, ang pag-aaralan natin ay ang ibig sabihin ng The Big R. Ano yan? Renzi. No. <laughs> recession. Recession. Kasi marami nagsasabi na recession na daw tayo. Mm, parang may, hairline. <laughs> oh, <laughs> or may parating na recession. Mm. Pero we would like to give them yung talagang ano ba, formal definition. Mm. Ng, ng isang recession. Oh, so Again, ano ba ibig sabihin ng recession? Recession. Okay. Hindi ito nangangaluhuga. Na, hindi ito equivalent sa pagbagsak ng stock market. Pag bumagsak ang stock market, hindi ibig sabihin recession na kagad. Mas bumagsak yan ng 10%, 20%. Not necessarily, okay? Oo. Not necessarily recession. Oo. Okay? Kasi okay. pwede namang hindi maganda yung sentimiento ng mga foreign funds, okay? May mga balita na hindi magandang naririnig. That would contribute to the decline of the stock, Pero stock that, market. Pero that does not automatically mean recession na. No. Okay. Recession, technically speaking, okay, is um, usually two quarters na pagbaba ng, isa, ng GDP ng isang bansa. So, pag bumaba ang GDP ng isang bansa for hmm. two, consecutive two consecutive quarters, quarters. yun ang recession. Yes, okay. technically recession. Na so, ano ba yung GDP? Kala ko ba recession lang? Eh, syempre <laughs> hindi natin alam yung ibig sabihin okay. ng GDP. Eh. GDP, yung pinuproduce na goods and services ng isang bansa. So, gross domestic product ang meaning at ito ay ang... it pertains to the products and services na pinuproduce ng isang bansa. Oo. Ang madaling tandaan dyan is, kasi mayro pang isang term eh. Ano? GNP. Go, Gross, Gross National, National Product. Product. Okay. okay. Na parang parehong GDP lang, pero magkaiba sila. Okay. Para, mata- para matandaan, ewan ko lang ha, para ah. matandaan ko siya, ang GDP gawa dito sa Pilipinas. Okay. Ang gross... <laughs> pero ang ibig sabihin nun is Gross Domestic Product ha. Uh-oh. Okay. Pero para matandaan ko lang, GDP for me is gawa dito sa Pilipinas. Ibig sabihin hmm. lahat ng goods and services na ginawa dito sa Pilipinas. So katulad ng kinakain mo na yeah, chips ya, ginawa sa Pilipinas. Okay, kotse, oh. banana. <laughs> okay? Basta gawa dito sa Pilipinas regardless kung yung gumawang kumpanya ay Philippine company or foreign company. Oh, oh. Basta gawa dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, oh. Okay? Ginawa sa loob ng Pilipinas. Ang GNP naman o Gross National Product ang para matandaan ko siya gawa ng Pilipino. <laughs> ah, gawa ng Pilipino. Okay. Meaning, yung na-produce ng mga Filipino companies. Okay. So, pag uh, yung production, ng ma- yung value so, ng mga... Pangit ng term ko <laughs> bata. <laughs> so, pag yung value ng mga produkto mm-hmm. at saka yung mga services na nagawa sa Pilipinas mm-hmm. ay bumaba from mm-hmm. last quarter mm-hmm. at bumaba Hindi, ulit kunwari, sa sus- one, kunwari, one quarter bumaba okay di pa recession uh, oh. pero pag dalawang magkasunod na quarter mm-hmm. ay bumaba uh-huh. then recession na yun okay, para kung bumaba tas umakyat tas bumaba hindi yung recession yun kasi two consecutive parts. so I will probably be uploading this video around April no? Mm-hmm. so yung last quarter which is January to March positive pa tayo Ah, positive pa yung GDP natin? I think so. <laughs> ah, okay. Sige. All in the case. Pero yung last quarter ng 2019, positive, positive yun. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, kung positive yung last quarter ng 2019, so kahit na bumaba yung first quarter ng 2020, hindi pa recession. Kailangan bumaba ng April, May, June na quarter para mm-hmm. masabing recession na yung bansa natin. Pero kung halimbawa is... January to March positive Uh-oh. tapos sumunod na quarter April May June negative then hindi pa rin siya recession hindi pa rin pero medyo antay-antay ka na antay ka na medyo mag focus ka na sa mga Uh-oh. so uh, expanding on the definition kasi meron ding mga regional 
ano eh, diba? Regional recession mm-hmm. tsaka global recession. Global. Yun yung... Walang universal recession. Wala. <laughs> universal yan. Planetary recession. Ay, <laughs> yun na pa yung global recession. So, paano naman yung, ano, yung regional at saka global recession? Eh, wala naman silang uh, GDP? GDP? O meron ba? Actually, uh, regions and also yung global. global have GDP. Basta yun lang yung mga pinagsama-samang GDP ng mga bansa. Mm, actually, meron mm-hmm. kasing uh, IMF. Uh-huh. O yung International Monetary Fund. Hindi no? yung International Mission Force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. So may mga so, World tayo. Economic Indicators tayo na probably mm-hmm. meron silang weighted average of the GDPs of the countries mm-hmm. in a specific mm-hmm. region Masa, at saka yung global. Yun. Mm-hmm. So yun, kung mara sa buong mundo, yung weighted average ng uh, mga GDP ng mga bansa sa buong mundo mm-hmm. kapag bumaba for two consecutive quarters ba? Uh, or meron? Actually, wala. Walang, walang, walang specific. Sinabi, walang specific. Um, technical definition, basta for an extended period of time. Wow, okay. Walang sinabi na one year or two years, wala silang sinabi na basta for an extended so, period of time, basta mababa, okay, merong decline. Okay, uh, and, and we quote, okay? okay, IMF defines a global recession and we quote as a decline in annual per capita real world GDP backed up by decline or worsening okay for one or more of the seven other global macroeconomic indicators such as okay industrial production trade capital flow oil consumption unemployment rate per capita investment and per ca- per capita consumption so hindi lang gdp mm-hmm. ang tinitingnan natin pero yung mga nabanggit din na factor so kapang kabuuan ang tinitingnan kapag global recession and because of these many factors uh, mahirap masabi din na global recession na tayo kasi mm-hmm. ang daming factors no mm-hmm. uh, at 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 best the economy the economy is just slowing down mm-hmm. kasi the market is just going down mm-hmm. di ba or sentiments are medyo on the pessimistic, pessimistic. Oh. okay like for example for the longest time sinasabi nila recession ng US magre-recession but for hindi the naman recession, talaga siya hindi pa rin uh, by strict definition hindi recession yes. No? Yes. so uh, siguro as a final tip for them, mm-hmm. ano ba dapat ang ginagawa natin to prepare for the recession? To prepare for Kasi, the recession. Kasi again, hindi natin alam kung mangyayari o hindi. No? Oo, and uh, the mere fact that many people are talking about it, no? especially yung mga finance news no? na possible mm-hmm. na mangyayari yung recession, etc. So habang hindi pa nangyayari, ano ba yung pwede natin gawin on our personal finance to prepare for a possible recession because of course with mm. all that's been happening lately uh, the markets are really taking a uh, beating no mm. talagang nabubugbog ang ating market so <laughs> anong tip mo okay tip number one again of course always have your emergency fund yes sobrang siram plaka na tayo <laughs> pero sige lang no para because that is your financial caution yes Pag down ng market down ng bond market minsan nagsasabay-sabay stock and bond market your emergency fund emergency is your fund talaga financial cushion oo yan your parachute okay, okay. sa mga gantong panahon pangalawa um, since wala naman talagang nakaka alam kung kailan magre-recession make sure that you are investing in the right investment bucket meron kaming video diyan about ano bucket investing and on matching principle oh, of investment yes. meaning Siguraduhin natin na yung pera natin na kakailangan for the short term, meaning within 3 to 5 years, nasa short term investment. Mm-hmm. Like stock, uh, I know, rather like money market or mga bonds, mga short term ba- short-term bonds. Ang balance fund, mga pang medium term pa yan. Uh-huh. So kung may goal kayo in 5 to 10 years, medium term dapat yon goal 10 years or plus is pang long term. Okay. Kasi again, kung halimbawa is, kunwari, yung goal nyo is within 3 to 5 years, tapos nakalagay lang yun sa mga conservative instrument like bonds, bond fund, or money market fund, kahit pag-recession, hinding hindi kayo maapektuhan. Maapektuhan at hinding hindi kayo kakabahan. Bakit? Maski mag-down ng market at it would take the market 1 or 2 years bago umakyat, your investment is practically on a safe ano uh-huh. on a safe on a safer uh, instrument uh-huh. ayan ngayon kung halimbawa may goal kayo na pang medium term or pang long term na of course uh, usually may stock market or stock market ang investment yan then the recession is actually your happy time to buy mm-hmm. ayan kasi long term pa eh. ay magre-retire ako 30 years pa recession uy makakabili pa ako ng maraming stocks saka ng maraming uh, ng maraming funds 
for my long-term investment. So again, if you are on the proper mindset and you are doing the matching principle of Tama yung kanila financial plan na sinusunod. Yes, then you should not be worrying about the recession. Hmm. So may isa pa akong tanong. Hmm. Meron bang asset class na umaakyat during recession? Na curious lang ako. Kasi syempre pag sinabing recession, probably it is reflected sa performance ng stock market. Ganyan. Oh, cash. So mga near cash. Cash and near cash. Cash, uh, um, money market instruments. Ang mga real estate ba, umakit ang value kapag recession? Parang hindi. Hindi. So mga parang, precious like, metals like gold and... Uh, um, since merong recession, so commodities in mm-hmm. as a whole, um, mababa din ang price. Kasi again, recession, global demand, global economy as a whole, mababa. Next so, to slow down yung... Next to slow down, so demand, mababa din. So price that madidepress din ang price. Mm. Bababa din ang presyo. Kasi walang demand eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? So kung walang bumibili ng produkto mo, marami kang gold, eh nakastock up ka ng So basically, gold. in layman's terms, pag recession, yung mga tao ay medyo tipid. Hindi masyadong gumagastos. Oo. So kung wala masyadong gumagastos, on the supply end, eh marami kang gold, marami kang silver, walang gumagastos, ano gagawin mo? Oo. Depenta mo ng mababa ang presyo the, para may bumili. And the reason why yung mga businesses are producing less because there are less people who are buying their products. The demand. The demand, the demand is low. Yeah. Ah, Supply okay. and demand. Econ, one. <laughs> yeah, mag-review sila no, ng mm. kanilang economics. Yes. It is your best friend. Okay? Sabi nga natin is uh, ano ba, always make your studies your best friend kasi mga economics na yan na uh, ayaw natin ng high school. Nako, yan ang magpapayaman sa inyo. Oo. Oh, lamang ang may alam. Yeah, may nakita wow, ko. Oh, may nakita ko ang hashtag niya. Eh. Lamang, lamang ang may alam. Feds, feds, feds. Okay. So, I guess that's it. Sana may natutunan kayong bago dito sa ating video. Uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel para uh, ma-notify kayo kapag may yes. bago kaming video. Nam very relevant and uh, timely. Yeah, sa mga nangyayari ngayon. So, yes. I guess that's it. Uh, see you again next, next week. week. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye-bye.